Howdy. This is a series of two videos where I'm studying the evolutionary changes within two creature populations. In this first video, I'm going to create two separate islands. And then I'm going to put one population on both islands. So I will have um, island A and island B, and there's uh, one population living on island A, and another population living on island B. And then, in the second video, I concentrate on the evolution of the creatures in these two different islands. Since the islands are isolated from each other, the populations do not meet each other. This means that uh, generation by generation, the population's properties should uh, start to drift apart. Okay, evolution requires some time. Uh, but uh, we can speed up the simulation and observe the changes. Here you see the whole ecosystem that is randomly generated at the start. You can generate new ecosystems um, according to predefined settings. Or you can build your own ecosystem from the scratch. The simulation hasn't started yet. And as you can see, there's no trees or other vegetation on the island. So we could just press start and start the simulation. Anyway, uh, we are going to make some changes first. In terrain settings, let's uh, first uh, separate the landmass into two different islands. One island per population. The first page lets you raise or lower the ground. Let's pick lower ground and see how it works. Here we have two isolated islands. It will be highly improbable that the creatures are able to cross the channel. And then let's make sure that both islands have decent living conditions. This will show us the land fertility. Red color means that the land is fertile and it supports the vegetation growth. With no fertility, the blue color, uh, there will be no vegetation. So let's add some fertility to both islands, uh, because otherwise there's no food for the creatures. Hmm. This time, the other terrain properties can be left as they were generated in the beginning. And then the vegetation. Um, I'm going to make some changes to the vegetation as well, so that the two different populations have different plants to eat. As we can see, the predefinition has generated us two different vegetations. Vegetations have lots of parameters, but this time we are only interested about the type of vegetation. There are two different types of vegetation, cane plants and leaf plants. One way to examine evolution um, and the adaptation of the creatures is to put different vegetations to different islands. So we can put uh, cane plants to another island and leaf plants to another island. And over the time, the two different populations should adapt to the vegetation um, they have available on their own island. Uh, vegetation is usually the main food source for the creatures. Uh, the creatures can also hunt each other and eat each other, and this ability to be a carnivorous uh, is uh, in genes and it depends on the environment, but uh, the main food source is the vegetation. Creatures have a genetic ability to consume cane or leaf exclusively. Uh, this means that if they are fully adapted to consume leaves, uh, they cannot consume canes at all and vice versa. Uh, so the ability is a gradient. 
However, it is possible that they can consume both a cane and leaf at certain level. So let's plant some cane seeds to other island and leaf seeds to other island. As we can see, uh, the seeds are pre-generated all over. So first, let's get rid of them. Okay, now let's add some seeds. And then the same to the other vegetation type. Seeds uh, will spread over time as um, the vegetation grows. Anyway, there's this, this uh, channel we just created, and this channel will block the spreading of the seeds. And also it will block the movement of the creatures, even if some of the creatures might have the swimming ability, but I believe this channel is large enough to block both the seeds and the creatures. So now there are two islands with different vegetation types. We do not have to pay attention to other settings this time. So let's start the simulation and see if we got everything right. This uh, pre-simulation phase speed runs the simulation for a while so that the plants have time to grow. As you remember, in the beginning there were only seeds. And here we have the result. Cane plants on the other island and leaf plants on the other. In the next video uh, we'll put some creatures on both islands and see how they survive and how they evolve. See you next time.